Let's learn. Please click on subscribe button for future video updates. Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you how to use timer in input capture mode. Typical application of input capture mode is for input signal frequency measurement. So before starting this video, it's important to know how does the timer functions. For this purpose, please visit previous video about timer. Now first we will see how input capture mode works. All the functions of input capture mode is same as basic timer. Only difference is that whenever transition occurs on capture pin, the value of counter or timer is latched to another register from where we can read it. Let's say we need to measure frequency of this signal. The frequency is 1 by t. It means First, we need to find out period of signal to get frequency. So, we will configure timer in input capture mode for rising edge. So, whenever rising edge will occur, will occur, then the count value will be latched to capture register. So, it will work like first we will start timer, then whenever rising edge will occur, the count will be latched to capture register. And from there we will note it down. Let's call it SC1. Then wait for another rising edge. When second rising edge will occur, then count at that instant will be latched to capture register. And we will note down SC2. Now to get timer period of the signal, we simply need to subtract C2 and C1. But wait, this time period is in terms of time at so we need to convert them to actual time. For this, you can use below formula. Here, timer clock frequency is a frequency fed to the timer before we scale the clock. In our thing that it is, that is 8 megahertz. C2 and C1 are captured at the rising edge. We scale the value is the value by which input clock source frequency is divided before feeding to timer. Now let's move to coding part. Okay, so as I told that I don't have any signal generator with me. So that's why I have generated 50 hertz signal on this PB14 and I have externally shot this PB14 with PA15 PA15 have timer to capture channel 1 so we will try to capture 50 hertz frequency generated from this pin over here and measure it and cross check it is it 50 hertz or not ok first I will configure this as a timer to channel 1 Okay, now come to timer 2. Here, clock source will be internal clock. The frequency of internal clock is 8 megahertz. You can cross check over here. Then, the channel 1 we need to configure for input capture mode. Okay, so prescaler value I am going to set as 7 triple line and counter period value I'm going to set more than my period value of my signal so I can say any value less than 16 bit max value so I will set as 50,000 okay then the polarity selection I need rising edge so whenever the rising edge will occur the value of the counter will be captured and is latched to the register. Okay, and here in NVIC, enable this global interrupt and save and generate the code. Come to main. Now, here we need to start the timer. So, in order to start timer, we need to call function 
It will timer input capture start with interrupt and we are going to use timer 2 that's why select this one channel is timer channel 1 okay now we need to implement one callback function over here so as we have configured for rising edge after this function is executed the timer will start and whenever the rising edge will occur it's going to capture the value of counter and latch it to register so we need to implement one callback function to handle or to read that captured value so we can go over here here we will write code for that so that function is this one you can search this function okay here you can see this function is here so in this function we are going to read the value which is captured at the rising edge so in order to store that value i will create one array array of two and one index variable So when this function is called, we can directly read the capture value. You can directly read with the register address or the register variable or you can use macros over here. So for this I'm going to use macro. It is counts of index equal to This is the macro to get the captured value. Yes, we need to pass this handle and channel is channel one. Okay, now I will implement this with index plus plus. Now, when we got two values, we can calculate the frequency. So if index equal to 2 we will simply calculate frequency over here so float frequency to 0 so the formula which I have shown earlier you can you need to implement that over here so frequency equal to our system frequency or the frequency fed to the timer block is 8 megahertz so divided by now we have c2 as counts 1 minus counts of 0 into our prescaler value is 7 triple 9 plus 1 ok and I will index variable as 0 so then this function will be called the timer will start when the rising is will occur at that time the counter value will be latched to the capture register capture register then this function is called from this function we will read that value and store in counts array then timer is again fully running then again at next rising edge will occur at that time again this function will call and we will get another value 
then we have our c2 and c1 over here counts of one is c2 and counts of zero is c1 so using these two we can calculate the frequency of external signal so our code is ready we will compile it right. And we'll check. Okay, I will put breakpoint over here. Can run. Okay, it's here, and you can see frequencies 50 hertz. So, using this, we have measured external signal frequency with this technique you can measure frequency of any external signal which is coming on your input capture pin if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you